how many of you all can acquaint with what I just said on Facebook? How many of y'all can acquaint with that? Wasn't it powerful? Wasn't it powerful? How many of y'all could acquaint with that? Wasn't it powerful? I got a boast in, in one of one of my daughters in JHM. My daughter, um, Carrie, has been with me for a long time now. She sold a $500 seed. I got a boast. And when she sold, uh, she got a raise. And this is not the first time. A lot of you all got money moving miracles. I, I apologize that I haven't been so vocal about it lately. But you know how we rolling. We moving fast. So... I don't really be voicing it too much, but it's happening. It's happening. The power of the Holy Spirit is strong on me for this assignment to bring you into your blessed life. You believe a prophet, so shall you prosper. This is how some of y'all be doing. Your, if you got old school mother, they call it brazia. <laughs> if you had old school mama, she would tell us, uh, fix your brazia. And it says, all right, mom. Mom, stop. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I'm talking about. But the, the miracle is amazing. Money moving and financial promotion taking place. And it's happening. Money cometh is happening to you now. All right. Money cometh is a now thing. It's the power of the Holy Spirit for now. <laughs> Some of y'all don't act like we don't be knowing your secret. You be up there walking around. Doo -t -doo -t -doo -t -doo -t. <laughs> Come to find out you got big old basketball inside of you. The devil told you to put that. It's like I'm playing around. Playing. I'm joking around. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> you be at the casino trying to play some guy. <laughs> Saints, if you got any, if you got daughters for children, and you and you strapped with yours, you know what I'm saying. You you is a. Uh, you 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 move to another realm in your spaceage, in your uh, productivity, in your uh, uh, increase. Your your child, your daughter, going to try to figure out how you got there. <laughs> Daughters be doing all type of stuff with their moms. They be feeling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> try, 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 try to figure out what's going on back, you know, in other places. Now, but it's interesting because they, they, that's, that's, they, females, some of y'all got little children, <laughs> you got little children, your daughter never tried to figure out how you got them? How them just showed up on your chest? And then they want to know why I ain't got them? You got them? Why I ain't got them? Your child, remember your your daughter is a female. She got curiosity in her just like Eve. <laughs> you got to subject that curiosity. Uh, hey. You don't think your child be watching how you walk? <laughs> Your child be just like a little baby with the little pacifier. To but when they get a little older, they be like, dun, 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 dun. and they be right there and watch you. They'll turn into Tupac. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a case though. They'll turn to Tupac while you walking. See, when you were small and you walking, they just were watching you. But when you get old, then you start. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That child ain't watching you no more. They be at the playground up there walking. Doo -doo 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 -doo.
you think what you want. Hey, let, let me just say this. Girls and boys, you know, there's a mindset where they know that they are attracted. If a girl is a girl, she knows she attracted to boys. If she, a boy is a boy, he know he attracted to girls, right? So little children be funny. They don't be telling you everything. <laughs> no, because I once was a child and I used to see stuff going on. You'll be shocking little five-year-old guy, little boyfriend. Little boyfriend up in the classroom. It, it, I was shocked when I went to kindergarten and they say, do you know that that's, that's, that's man, man, girlfriend? That's a girlfriend? Yeah, that's a girlfriend. And sometimes they grow up to be, you know, together. But <laughs> you think that your child are, 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 are like, like brush your teeth. Your child be acting all like that. But when they get around, that's another person. That's why I said they ain't going to school. <laughs> Money! Comment to me now! Now, I know how, I know how the vibes go. <laughs> when I was a little boy, you know what I mean? Girls used to write me, write me them little letters because I had long behind braids. I had them long braids where my hair was long. There was always somebody hating on me times. Oh, now nah, he too cute to be a boy. He is a girl. He got to look like a man. He too cute. Girls used to write me, used to scribble. Do you want me or no? Circle yes or no. Had one of them girls like me that smell like breast milk. I'm like, girl, what? You still smell like breast milk, though. What you, what you, what you on the gerber milk? What you, pro, pro sensitive? You on pro sensitive? You smell like breast milk. What you wear, a beard or what? Supernatural money is a real anointing. And Jesus got that prepared for you. Don't be distracted by what happened in your life. Stay focused on the wealth that's moving in your direction. Stay focused on the finances that's coming into your hands. The riches that Jesus is anointing you to carry in this life. The money bags of Jesus. The money bags of Jesus. Supernatural money bags will rest in the bosom. Of the undistracted, unstoppable sower. You can receive the anointing of Isaac to sow out of this world. You can receive the, the sowing mantle of Isaac. You know what Jesus was speaking to me? He was speaking to me that when Abraham offered up Isaac as a seed, that Isaac received the atmosphere, the assignment to become a seed himself. He received the mindset of becoming a seed himself. So in Genesis 26, Isaac got reacquainted to that moment with Abraham. When Abraham sold him, and then Isaac had to tap into what he saw his father doing to him. See, Isaac had to become a seed before he could become a sower. You have to become a seed yourself before you can become a sower. Because becoming a sower is not for people that's playing around with God. We find that out with Ananias and Sapphira. The seed is like the Ark of the Covenant. Remember in David's day? When he went when that man went go touch the Ark of the Covenant and then, a, then, then God killed the man, he went go catch it from falling on the floor. 
And, and when he went to go catch it, God killed him in that. The seed like the Ark of the Covenant. So in this realm, it's not a playful place. Like you got to really be stirred, focused, attentive to Jesus. Carolina, I ain't going to talk too much on you. Because cause you, you, you move in another vein with me. So, so, so Holy Spirit, strong on you. But Carolina, she in the glory realm with me. She just sold $700. She just sold $700. See, people like Carolina are worthy to be talked about. You know why? Because it's like the woman with the alabaster box. She discerned Jesus. And that's her only focus. That's all she's looking at. And, and there's people that look at Carolina and think that she's crazy because they wonder how come your reaction is not the same reaction as any other person. Because Carolina done stepped over into the same spirit of her apostle and she done stepped into the same realm as her apostle and, and she undisturbed. See, when you get good understanding, you're good. When you get good understanding... See, you're not left like everybody else trying to figure out life and trying to trying to up there uh, 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 move in the ordinary like everybody that has gone before them. You have extraordinary responses, extraordinary mindsets, and extraordinary futures being birthed constantly through you. Being of God. Because when you be a God, you have the same tenacity mindset Functionality, words, vocabulary, reactions. Re ah, you got the same power to be a witness, to show the world the glory power of God and how to live as kings and priests and on fire and in favor and with finances and free. To not be moved. Steadfast, immovable, abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your work in the Lord is not in vain. Breaking the neck of the enemy constantly. Shattering demonic covenants. Destroying yokes. Destroying yokes. Apostolic power moving through you to demonstrate Jesus as a woman, as a man. Constantly. Continuously. Not only do demons got to bow to you, but wealth got to bow to you. Finances got to bow to you. Increase got to bow to you. Power got to move for you. Glory got to move for you. Angels got to move for you. Health got to come for you. Everything got to be in alignment. He'll perfect that which concerns you. And he'll break every single thing that came against your mind, your, your future, your finances, your freedom. He'll break it. And you're raw in this kingdom of God. You're raw just like the lion of the tribe of Judah. You'll be a lion yourself. Roaring with power. Roaring with freedom. Roaring with riches. Roaring with riches. Roaring with riches. You'll step over into the next grade level of virtue. Step into the next grade level of power. You wonder how I've been shouting since all oh, this week, this Wednesday now. How come I still got my voice? How come I still got my voice? Saints, I, su I sung for almost an hour or an hour or so. How I still got my voice? Because it's God power moving through the being. God power moving through the being. God power. See, you can sow. From God power. God sowing. God powered sowing. You're going to have God powered reaping. God power living. See, Jesus don't got one thing around him that's in this order right now in the, in, in the heavens. So when you let Jesus take over you, everything going to come into order. 
Everything gonna come into alignment. Every single thing gonna come into alignment. When you let Jesus take over you, all that God power gonna sit on your situation and bring you out, usher you out, resurrect you. Lazarus come forth. So, 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 something that happened when Lazarus come forth that he had napkins on his face. He was wrapped up like a mummy. But, but watch, they didn't wrap him up until they pronounced him dead. See, the reason why stuff try to wrap you up, because the devil trying to say that you dead, you separated from God, you separated from your riches, you separated from your covenant, you separated from the blessing, you separated from your prophet of God, you separated from your prophet of God, you separated from your prophet of God. So he tried to wrap stuff around you and you said, no, I, I ain't taking it. Get this off of me. This is not my clothing line. My clothing line is glory power, fire of the Holy Spirit, baptism of God's grace and honor. There's a baptism of sowing. The church went through it in Acts chapter 4. They was baptized with sowing. They was baptized with sowing. Everybody was underneath this sowing baptism. Everybody was honoring God. The worship went to another degree. Everybody was lavishly given to Jesus. Everybody had lost their mind. Everybody was walking in supernatural praise, supernatural joy, supernatural power, supernatural wisdom, supernatural Holy Ghost, supernatural economy, supernatural account, supernatural wealth, supernatural joy. I, everybody was moving with something. Nobody was empty handed. Everybody had stepped over into the spirit realm. A passionate worship. And when they stepped over, now Jesus started doing things for them that was legendary financially. See, Jesus won't do stuff for you that's legendary, that, that's beyond the normality. Let the Lord shock you. Don't stay on the land. R remember what he told him in Luke chapter 5. Look what he told Peter. Get this boat off from the land. See, see, Jesus didn't work the, want to work the miracle uh, of all these low, uh, 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 these fish. He didn't want to work the miracle on the land. Jesus wanted to work the miracle on the water. You imagine how so many miracles you aborted because you done made plans to stay on land. See, stop making financial strategies if you don't know how to speak in financial tongues. Stop making financial strategies if you don't know how to speak in financial tongues. Because those financial strategies are going to hold you back from having sewing hands the way that God wants you to have. See, the transference is real. When you connect it to a true apostle, a true prophet, the transference is real. And God will bring you into the heavenly economy. You're where the spirit of your apostle, your prophet. You're where the spirit of your apostle and prophet, and they'll bring you into wealth. Supernatural money is a real anointing, a real grace, a real backing from God. The Holy Spirit looking for somebody that he can raise up. That's not afraid to sow beyond the limits, beyond the normality, beyond the common. The uncommon soul will have uncommon money bags. If you take a note, write it down. The uncommon sower will have uncommon money bags. 
Write this down. The abundance of money is going to give you dominion to not live underneath human opinion. Becoming a financial God. Ejecting the spirits that's trying to rule your region, your city. That think that they can rule you, but you got weapons to tear down Goliath. You got weapons. From tonight, I decree and I declare that there'll be money favor sitting on you everywhere you go. I decree and I declare money favor surround you as with a shield. I decree and I declare that money favor would be your reward everywhere you go. Money favor. That if you don't got money, people will give you money. I, I remember people would give you money. I remember when I used to, uh, I had this job right briefly where I was, I, I would greet people at the door. And it was like a restaurant job, right? And the people would give me more money than they gave the, the waiter. And sometimes I would deny the money and say, and then when I realized when I woke up, a spirit of slumber tried to give me. When I woke up, I said, Don't give me my money. Uh, thank you. Uh huh. I'll see you next time. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Give me my money. Get, let, let go. Don't fight me. Don't fight. Don't fight me, Algerine. Algerine, you know me. Don't fight. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. God is good. Try to fight, try to cause a scene, try to fight. Don't fight. Don't fight this. Don't fight. Money cometh was on me. So they would give me money at the door. I had to beg them for no money or nothing. They would give me money at the door because money cometh was on me. You could be such a strong soul that God want to pay you before your paycheck. You can be such a strong sower that Jesus want to pay you before the time that you were supposed to get paid. Saints, do you know that I got I, I, I got outpaid before my paycheck? There was times that my paycheck was supposed to come and I have I have so much money on me before I got paid. So while everybody was talking about I can't wait till I get my paycheck, I was like, yeah. That's why you gotta can't wait till you get your paycheck. Because every time you get money, you don't believe in sowing into God. My watch is popping right now. I don't care what you say. Uh, you don't believe in sowing into God. See, a thief spirit will stop you from your relief. Or, or, or your relief spirit. Let me say it like that. A thief spirit will stop you from your relief spirit. I'm going to say it like that. Don't, don't tell me it's bad English. Because ain't no English is bad. If it's spoken... By somebody that's good is good English. See, the thief realm is not going to permit you to experience supernatural money. Don't eat the seed and become an Eve and become a Steve. And lose your weave because you choose not to believe. The Holy Spirit going to help you become sensitive to sowing moments and become receptive to sowing mantles. Says there's many mantles that I receive for sowing that belong to somebody else. It's their mantle, but they didn't want it. So I take it myself. Let me give you a secret in the spirit realm. When you take something that somebody else don't want, the, the sowing anointing, don't start getting mad at them because they don't sow. You just take the sowing uh, 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 mantle and you sow, sow, sow. 
Saints, let me tell you something. What do you think going to happen if you take somebody else sowing assignment in the earth? What do you think going to happen? That means that you're going to live in their harvests. You're going to live in their house, their car, their stuff. Saints, the suffering that Jesus spoke to us about is that suffering, rejection, um, being misunderstood, being attacked, being uh, opposed. That's the suffering that Jesus talked about. Jesus never intended for the suffering to uh, transgress into you having poverty financially. He never meant for that. Because then that would cancel out the whole reason why he died, which was that the blessing of Abraham might come upon you. So the blessing of Abraham got the ability to come upon you, to sit upon you, to rest upon you, to make its abode with you. And the blessing of Abraham is going to release Everything that Abraham re received and double. And so if Abraham was very rich, the double got to make me very richer. There's a surpassing realm that God places on the sower. A surpassing realm. A surpassing realm. So you're going to surpass what, what other people have tasted of God. See, saints, um, remember the Lord revealed to me that Hannah, before she got Samuel, she, she was sowing for Samuel. She offered him up to the Lord, yes, but she didn't offer him alone. She offered money. She offered seed. And you see her husband, Elkanah, with the two wives, Elkanah, um, one of the wives, people like got more head than she got by. Uh, Al Qaeda, not Al Qaeda, Afghanistan. Al Qaeda, when he was sowing, he honored God so strong that the Lord let a mighty prophet be birthed through his own sperm. So watch this. He was sowing mighty seed, money seed. And then God gave him mighty child seed. Which shows you that if, if you are sowing money seed, your child seed going to become mighty, even if they're not right now. Don't worry about them, the big self. They keep going to jail. And they hanging around with people and doing stuff that you opposed to. That you at one time probably was all right with because of the life. But, but you done converted over. You done learned some things. And then now, bam, bam, bam. Your child seed going to have to submit to your money seed. God will judge your children because of your sowing. God will put his hands on your children to protect them, to deliver them just because of your sowing. God will raise up and whoop your child because of your sowing. Because see, when you sow in money seed, you in the area, you in the arena of seed. So all other seed got to bow its knee. See, if I'm sowing money seed, I got power over this word seed. I can get this word seed to manifest because every other seed got to listen to, to my sowing. If you take notes, write this down. Your seed has a loud, a very loud prophetic voice. Your seed has a very loud prophetic voice. Your seed has a very loud prophetic voice. It's very loud. And, and it's louder than any other seed that Satan would try to plant, either in your mind, in your path, in your prosperity.
Because you know what prosperity means. It means that you're successful, meaning that you're effective. It means that the word is able to come to pass for you. you able to manifest what God said that was going to be yours. And you're not no thief because you want to have what God wants you to have. And you're not no lover of money because you want the money that God wants you to have. It'll be foolish if you don't want what God wants you to have. See, traditional demons will make you feel, or, or they, if you talk with them too long, make you start casualizing the blessing and casualizing uh, money cometh and casualizing financial increase and start talking, so, oh, that's not spiritual. No, no, you're not spiritual. All of this is spiritual. You're not spiritual. That's why you ain't got it. You ain't never going to get it. Last but not least, you look at a child, right? What if you got a 10-year-old child and somebody run up to you and say, your 10-year-old your child is on the street right now. They don't got no food teeth. They got holes in their pants. They, they, they scratching. They ain't take no shower in days. And they, they smell so funny and they look all awful and they going through hardship. Uh, is this your child? You're going to say, no, nah, that ain't my child. I don't know who that is. Who you said it was again? No, nah, I don't know who that is. Uh, thank you. But go, go down the street. Okay. You ran down the street and got them on the low. Come, come inside this car. You know, drove off. Why were you embarrassed? Because you knew that that child was a reflection of you. And if they look bad, then you look bad. Here's the thing. The same way you got to catch if you don't let Jesus make you rich. You're a reflection of Jesus. So you saying that Jesus is, 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 is not rich if you don't let him make you rich. Because if you are his child and he taking care of you and, 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 and you don't let that riches anointing come on you, you're going to make him look bad. Even though he's not bad, you're going to make him look bad because... Now the reflection of him is on you. And when people see you, they, they're going to see struggle forever. I ain't talking about right now. Right now is okay. Because you're growing. And we all walk through that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm the, a, a chief of walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But what I'm telling you is, is expedient and is very important. It's urgent that you let the riches anointing saturate you. It's important that you don't... Uh, Pitch your faith in no food stamps. Don't pitch your faith in no social security. Because if you do, you're going to hug that money. And that money going to be the bondage that grip you at that level financially forever. You got to know that that's, that's worship money. This food stamp is not my livelihood. Because you'll get so much money that Jesus will start telling you, don't even apply for food stamp the next six months. And, and Jesus don't want you to put your faith in this fallen system because this, this fallen system is going to fall. That's why Jesus won't get you on supernatural money. So, so that when this system fall, you're going to stand tall because you're living off your harvests. And saints, here's the beautiful thing about this kingdom. It don't matter about what you can see right now. He already set up for you to be rich. He already set up for you to be multimillionaires. Billionaires, trillionaires, godliness is already set. So it's not about what you can see. I don't know nobody. It don't matter about that. You know the God that's over all money, over all riches, and the same way he multiplied the disciples and he multiplied the woman with the alabaster box and multiplied Mary Magdalene and multiplied all of them. He'll multiply you. Because they don't got nothing to do with the natural realm. It's about the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, there's no lack, no limitation, no poverty, no disappointment financially of any kind. There's no curse. No sickness. Everything got to bow its knee to your spiritual power and spiritual authority. Being a God, a financial God, a wealth God, a health God, a healing God, a deliverance God, a joy God, a happy God, a laughing God. All the God realms been made available to you. So what you going to do? You're going to rule and reign 
with Christ Jesus. 